that and taught her uh, Anna, uh, an incredible, vibrant young girl uh, who looked up to them and learned from them and inherited their talents by singing before she could talk. So every family in this state was shaken by the tragedy of that morning. Every family in this country was shaken. We hugged our kids more tightly. We asked what could we do as a society to help prevent a tragedy like that from happening again. And as a society, we decided that we have to change. We must. We must change. Yes, 
we can protect more of our citizens from gun violence while still protecting our Second Amendment rights. Those two things don't have to be Stop 
convicted murderers, folks under restraining orders for committing violent domestic abuse, from buying a gun. In some cases, they've actually arrested the person as they were coming to purchase the gun. So we know that background checks can work, but the problem is loopholes in the current law let so many people avoid background checks altogether. That's not safety. It doesn't make sense. If you're a law-abiding citizen and you go to a background check to buy a gun, wouldn't you expect other people to play by the same rules? If you're a law-abiding gun seller, wouldn't you want to know you're not selling your gun to someone who's likely to commit a crime? Shouldn't we make it harder, not easier, for somebody who's convicted of domestic abuse to get his hands on a gun? Congress would rush to make this happen. That's what 